Coffee Freak? Chicken juice. Chicken juice? Chicken juice. <laughs> I'm a deckhand of the Gypsy. We're gonna be wreck hopping in the west. Captain Josh is gonna get us on some fish. Well, that's right, Bubba. Captain Josh is for sure gonna put those guys on some fish. But this trip, it's gonna be just a little bit different. Little Jay. We got a heavy hitter, high roller pool. Big money, local sharpies. They even flew a couple in from freaking Rhode Island, all right? Yeah, that's right, all over. The big dogs, big money. How much money? I'm not telling you, why? Because the IRS just hired 87,000 more guys to audit you guys out there, right? I'm not, I don't want them chasing down the gypsy clients right now. Those are hard working Americans right there. You want to hire 87,000 people? How about some school security and border security, all right? Okay, so teach my mooch. Fishing was, and I hate to use this washed out word, epic, all right? That's all I can explain this as. This was the most ridiculous fishing I've ever seen, fluke fishing. Captain Josh had the hand of God on his shoulder that day, I think. I guess we were rocking fish like crazy, all right? Look at all the stuff that's going behind me. These guys are whacking fish. I'm gonna roll right now an unedited clip of the action, and this right here was the action all day long. Check it out. So, she's right next to you, let's go. Net, so. Net boy. Oh, net boy. Have you on this catch? Look at that one. Go in the bath? Yeah. Be in the bath. It's gonna make it. Nice. Nice. It's fish now. Let's go. Go, Jay. Drop that roof in the bath. Ridiculous amount of fish coming up here. I don't know how that's going to be. Hey, I need that net, Little Jay. Little Jay, over here, kid. Quick, yeah. we need net. Fish. I got it, I got it. Yeah. 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 Right here. 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 How do you even fill something like this? Every second, literally, there's a fish on, all right? The boat, the whole boat limited. Coming up to a piece here, so when you throw it, don't throw it that way, you're gonna get stuck. Just throw it side to side if you could. When have you ever seen that ever on Fluke? Now we got a guy travels from the east, Manitouk, Long Island, home of the um. matriarch, Mrs. Garrett. He's out here, and he's on. Be the right one. There you go. Good yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Josh. That one is going to happen right now. Nice fish. Nice fish, man. Matter tuck in the house. All right, now we're swinging over to our man, my man, Captain Rick, over a Miss Burl charts. So what does he do? Bangs in for the day. He says, I'm going out with the gypsy crew, see if I can make a couple of Benjamins on this tournament. Rick, cool cat, he's on. So if you guys are in the Long Beach hood, not only say hello to my boy, Captain Bill, over on the Norma, say hello to Captain Rick over on Miss Burl, all right? Here's his website right there. I'm throwing it right up there. Bam, hell yeah. Captain Rick, cool cat. And then what we have, yeah? 
We got Salvo. Fight's picking up again. Going good. Still got three in the box? I got three already, yeah. That guy came out of the gates shooting both barrels. Gets three keepers really quick. Probably, I'm thinking within a half hour. He's banging them out. He's using. So what do you got? Is it your custom jigs right here? Yeah. No, no, I didn't get one yet. Uh, was it two ounce? Uh, yeah, that's a two ounce. Gulp and meat, yep. right? Gulp and mackerel. Salvo's custom jigs working apparently. That's the man himself. Is he going to write one up? Yeah, and I can tie it off here right now. That's good work. That's good work. Got Papa going over. Oh, yeah. What we got? Papa with the net. Perfect job. We don't lose the fish on the jigs. That's good. He catched you. That looks like it might make a dance. He's close. He's close. Okay. Yeah, you're good to go. Okay. See that, mate. We're going to measure him right now. Right there. Close. That's right. close. 18 and a half. <laughs> My man. Right on the button. <laughs> Oh, and by the way, players, I want to give a quick shout out to our friends over at All Pro. Check this out. Any purchase at All Pro National, you get yourself a free con hat. Yeah, you got camo. Yeah, you got the OG Kid Co. And then you won't have this one I'm wearing right now. And that one says, of course. You got a fish on? Say hello to it. I had dashing. Thanks to Vince. He's giving those things. Yes, free. These hats are free. Go over there. Take a peek at the Wayne Jigs. Take a peek at his teasers. All that stuff. Tuna jigs now. Or Pro National. Take a peek at that. Get a fish. Man. You get a live action. Okay, okay, okay live action. Hey, you see that? I gave you the touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. No, just when it takes one second. Yeah. I want to see that in the video. <laughs> Pearl, my man, you know that's going to make kid cut, all right? Right there, ladies and gentlemen, is my man Earl of Pearl. So Earl and I had a chance to chat in the old galley over at Gypsy, and uh, Earl was telling me how he loves the show, and uh, he agrees with a lot of things I say, and he disagrees with some of the things I have to say. And that's awesome, all right? We all should disagree about certain things. This show is my show, all right? These are my opinions and my opinions only, not my sponsor's opinions, but I'm a big cat on America, and I love God, all right? That's that. Me, I'm not a big fan of third graders choosing what sex they want to be, especially when they can't even choose a color toothbrush at the house, all right? Those are my opinions. Those are great to talk to Earl. We never went in depth about what he agrees and disagrees with, because why? Because we're out there to fish, all right? That's the beauty of the gypsy. It's a diverse crew right there. Nobody's asking about who you're voting for. They're only asking what color gulp are you using, all right? You're doing a chicken rig or you're high lowing it, whatever, okay? That's to be the efficient, all right? My opinions are my opinions, and Earl's got his opinion. He's a cool cat, man. He's got, he can say whatever the hell he wants. And I'm not the kind of person to say, oh, Earl just disagree with what I had to say. Screw Earl, I'm not putting him in this video. Hell yeah, I'm all about Earl. We're out there giving him, giving him the old love tap right there. Get him a little positive treat, get some nice fish. But that's what that's about, all right? Just because we disagree on certain things doesn't mean we freaking can't communicate with each other, all right? That we can't go fishing together. That's 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 the silliness, all right? There has to be that give and take. You just can't cancel somebody if they don't agree with what you have to say, okay? So just like I won't cancel Earl in this video, because I love Earl, all right? Earl's my man right there. Earl's got some moves too, right? Got it, baby. But the other funny thing about Earl is he goes, kid, you're gonna boing me, aren't you? The old boing the fish, let's go. No, Earl, I'm not gonna boing you. I'm boing you three times, pal. <gasps> I'm so sorry, Earl. These guys and girls are catching fish like maniacs, all right? Let's do a quick little video. Probably wonder right now, all these fish coming on being thrown in the cooler, how do you even know whose fish is what? 
much. Yes. We have stringers here. Each string is either a different color or has a tag or a number on it. And it goes and to each angle, right? It goes through each angle. We bleed each fish here, two shots through here, and one in the tail. String them up. I let them know what string it is. Brian, red and yellow. Red and yellow. Okay, thank you. They let us know at the end of the day. If they're drinking a little bit, I tell them, text themselves your numbers. Ice, all day, fresh ice, fresh ice on the fish, all day, keep them fresh. You want them cooked at home, not on the boat. I was just gonna rant, I'm not gonna rant about it. I was gonna rant about women in thongs fishing. I mean, it's, it's just ridiculous. Truth be told, if you wanna watch content like that, you know there are other places on the internet to go check that stuff out. What we're talking about here is setting role models for young women to get involved in fishing, all right? Captain Jess right there, a legit fisherman, and a fisherman is a woman. Get out of here with that he, they, was, and all that other crap. But Jess is a legit fisherman. You can tell by here, she can blast through a freaking fish. This is like legit, this is not, uh, wearing a thong and we're going to teach you how to fish. All right, there's, I remember there's a woman down the years ago was fishing a conventional thing upside down and now they're telling people how to fish, all right? That's nonsense. That content has nothing to do with fishing. It is all about thongs and stuff like that. I have a huge problem with that, all right? There are things on TV now with a guy and his wife who just wears a bikini. You know, it's, it's ridiculous. If you young ladies want to go out there and aspire to be fishermen and do it like Jess does it, do it like that. Go use Jess as a role model, all right? She's the real deal. She's out there filleting fish. She's working the deck. She's running the boat. She does everything, all right? That's the real deal. And at the end of the day, she keeps it real being a girl. Check this out. They're my nails, but they got a coating on them so they don't bend. You know, a little s, &S action. Still gotta be a girl out here. Still gotta be a girl. What happens at the cleaning table after Jess is cleaning? Oh, the vultures, they're coming. Right here, these homeboys right now are stealing product. Their mother drowned all the dumb babies. They right there are taking hey. all the ribbons off of the uh, fluke that are going into the garbage and they're gonna be using that for what? Future trips. They're gonna go out there. That's why those guys right there travel all over the place and catch massive fluke, all right? These guys are not beginning. These guys know the deal. There's a tournament going on. It's a big money tournament to some people, all right? And who catches that thing live on video is the I don't wanna say that, all right? And who gets this next fish right on camera? The kid does, all right? Why? Because I'm walking around with a camera. I can't fish and walk around with a camera and get the right footage, all right? So let's roll into right now, Bobby Boy. He's on to a really good fish. Live action. It's a whale semen that we just dumped. Yup. What's your number? 6 Okay. Oh, right here, you know Bobby's got a good one. Jake of the Simple Life there. If you're looking for a uh, boat out of the Highlands, New Jersey, that's the guy. Go fisherman, great guy. They have a good time. Well, there you have a place. If Captain Josh is giving Captain Jake the thumbs up on the Simple Life, if I'm in the Highlands, 
I'm jumping on that boat. Get in stage! Get in touch with uh, Captain Jake right there, because I'm getting the love from Captain Josh that he's a good cat. I'm taking his word for it, because, you know, I did Captain Josh, all right? So Captain Jake, right there, The Simple Life, Highlands. If you're over there, give me a jingle. All right, shake these kids in each man the mood. What? All right, so now, for those of you families want to go out and do some headboat stuff or party boats as they also call them take a peek at the gypsy this is the new gypsy right now it's got the accommodations all right right here we have big j he's working the kitchen we got a kielbasa and pretzel oh it's phenomenal when you see us out on the water you can pull up, here, place your order yeah. <laughs> people do that right yeah, yeah. gypsy special and yeah, normally they just either text josh or you know either they see us on the water Sometimes they, they, they call little Jay, place an order, we tell them, okay, 10 minutes, and then they come and pick it up. Right. Not only that, you can see him busting out breakfast right there. Coffee, $1. You can get on that boat, no BS, with nothing. Don't bring any food. They got you covered over there. The bathrooms, all right? This is for the ladies out there. I went in there and filmed the bathroom. Leave it to Captain Jess to have all these little fancy things in the bathroom, all right? The galley, right here. Here's the galley, looking good. And then you have... 360 degree fishability. Also, you can obviously see the guys up on the pulpit there. They got a little nice spot in the pulpit. I right, first come, first serve for locations on the boat. So keep that in mind as well. The whole concept of this video is get out there and go hit the head boat, all right? Again, the Gypsy is a premier head boat. It's a little more money than the regular average bear, but you get what you pay for, as I say always, all right? You're gonna get that fish treated properly. These, these deck hands are top notch. Bubba ripping around like a maniac. Dead balls on. Excellent, excellent job by Bubba. Little J running that deck with Jess. Go find headboats. I mean, they're iconic, like headboats that are very that have great reputations. Lazy Bones out in Montauk. That's one of them. You got the Celtic Quest up here on the North Shore. You have these things. Go out there and research those people. Research those boats. You got a whole fleet in Captree. All right. So research them. Which is the best one? Who's the best crew? Do they take care of that fish, you know? Or are they throwing it in the uh, cooler, all right? We talked about, Jess made that thing about ice, right? Ice, she puts all those fish on ice. Right away, you don't want those boats to cook, all right? Because you don't have ice on those fish, you could be fishing with my buddy Sal, and his last name is Manila. Sal Manila, all right? And he's no Italian. So make sure that fish is iced. Take proper care of your catch right now. That's what I'm saying. Now, so now where are we going? Josh hits the three bells. End of the day. What's everybody do? Pleases up their stuff, puts their rods away, their jigs away, packs up their bags, and now we're steaming back. We're steaming back a couple hours. What happens when we do that? Everybody's BSing, hanging out, having a good time. We got Bobby Boy. He's he's holding court right now. He is, looks like the front runner on that fish for first place. So here's a little insight of the boys. This is usually what happens on the back of a headboat heading back in. Everybody's talking. Well, you'll find little pieces of gold in the sea bass. So he jinxing you a lot today. You think you got the one? No. Come on! No, oh, you jinxed me! <laughs> no, I didn't jinx me. I think he's got it. I don't know, it's you, it was between you or Vinny. No. I think it's Vinny. Like Timmy, Timmy, Jimmy, no, Jimmy. Uh, Timmy said his, he doesn't think he's as big as yours. I'm gonna get jinxed. Yeah. 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 This is you and Vinny, I think. Hopefully it's you, because they have that whole fish on video. Yeah, I hope so. Between you and Josh, they're over my shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> every, every, time I, every time I went to hook the fish, I hear them saying stuff. I'm like, oh, no, you should have seen it. He came up to me, he's like, yeah, oh, this is live action. I said, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, I don't oh, say that. When, when Bob and Linda get like, hooked oh, up, I don't say that anymore. When he kept missing them, I can't ask him if his husband fished. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Weighing time. Guess that they should make a mooch. Bobby's sweating a little bit, but he's thinking positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. Positive, positive thoughts. Positive Positivity. That's it. You're only going 10 pounds. Eight inch. Those are big ass things, eh? That's all my keepers are on the eight inch. Eight inch nuclear. I got every color in the rainbow. Nuclear chicken's the only one I use. Huh? Gold, right? Yeah. What are you doing? Chicken rig? Yeah. Old school Montauk technique right there. Yeah. 
Hi folks, I want to thank you for watching this episode of Kitco Cheese Outdoors. It was a cool trip on the gypsy. I always love going over there. As a matter of fact, I turned down an offshore tune trip just to go hang out with the gypsy because why? I love the gypsy crew and I also love the clientele on the gypsy. They're just all gracious people. They all watch Kitco Cheese Outdoors. So humble to hang out with them all and uh, they're all freaking so cool. And as Parker John would say, Hey, I'm Parker John. I ain't catching fish by accident. Josh ain't catching fish by accident. All right? He is out there, and he is literally doing the work, and he knows exactly what he's doing with that boat. He's always working that boat. I know, yes. A lot of times when I'm up there at the helm, he's asking me what to do. He gets nervous. I tell him what to do. All right? Basically, they limit the alcohol cells on the boat, but that's just between us. Do not say that to anybody. Alright, thanks for watching Kid Coat Cheese Outdoors. May the grace of God shine upon you and your family, alright? Stay in this favor, baby doll. Guess I'll dash my emoji, gotta go.